Hi everyone. Um, some of you may already know that I had made a public apology to the LGBTQ plus community for a Facebook post um, that I made back in 2019. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read my letter that I wrote. So June 2nd, 2019, I made a Facebook post that prayed for violence on the LGBTQ plus community. I regret my judgment that allowed a hateful thought to become public and cause fear to spread amongst the LGBTQT plus community. My lapse in judgment caused many people to fear gathering together. I was wrong for my Facebook post that called for violence. As a Christian, I also let down God with my post calling for violence. I'm sorry for the fear and pain I caused to the members of the LGBT. TQ plus community. I was completely wrong for my post and I ask for your forgiveness. So I posted that um, a couple days ago is when I sent it out, but it was um, yesterday, Thursday, is when the media, Seven News, got a hold of it and they did the interview with me. So I understand that I was wrong for my Facebook post and I'm sorry for that. I shouldn't have called for violence. Um, I will be addressing, um, the LGBTQ T plus community in a different way. All right. So I'm sorry for a Facebook post that I made in 2019. All right. Um, real quickly on that. The reason why I ended up writing the letter was because I was speak, speaking with a friend of mine and his words really hit my heart because he brought up all the pain and fear that I caused. And I've been hearing this for almost, almost every day for over a year about this Facebook post. So people have been wondering why I wrote a letter is because it was time to do so um, because I did take the Facebook post down within an hour of putting it up and I actually apologized for the Facebook post back in 2019 on the Jeff Graham show. I also did that, but I was advised that I should write a letter. And uh, that's why I wrote a letter and I sent it out to the media. And that's why I'm making this video now um, to let everybody know that I was wrong for making a hateful post on Facebook.